Good morning, folks. What can I say? The sun clapped another one, directly at Earth this time. We've got more news than humans should handle in a short video, and you've got homework from last night as well. But let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're watching the south-central active region for the eruption. This one was only part of a C-class sequence of solar flares, but it released a nice wide-angle blast as it directly faced our planet. The CME is not going to be catastrophic. It should be able to produce some minor geomagnetic storms, however, given that it's riding in behind a coronal hole stream which should spark instability in the days before it impacts, which will likely be over the weekend. First up in the science news, we're going to Cassiopeia A. A new spectral analysis reveals a lot more about the components of the nebula, which, by the way, is another example of one with the star still inside to go boom again. The key element here is the titanium, which they say helps them understand more about the nova event that created the nebula itself. Up next, it's a bit more eye candy as we watch the progression of the intertropical convergence zone. What you should notice is its northern push as time tracks along. Trend video only goes to 2010, but we do know the trend itself has continued. Up next is a brand new thermohaline circulation video. This is something we discuss all the time at the channel, the movement indicative of warm interglacial climates like we have now, but it is weakening and its stability in the future has been questioned as we recently saw in this paper, all part of the ocean shift that will bring colder patterns and less heat transport. Speaking of the oceans, new video out from the ESA on acidification, salinity, alkalinity, and more. Their view of the world through the Ocean Soda program is going to help the remainder of the Earth observing fleet. Interesting animation up next showing the stellar mapping region of the outer Milky Way, and then a whole lot of stuff they absolutely did not see at all. This is supposed to be the lobes of dark matter, and while the study had been going on for months before the recent extended Milky Way disk story, the extra material and large-scale structure reduces the need for all that dark matter, by the way, not to mention our extended plasma halo, so big it touches Andromeda's, which is also much bigger than they thought. But even if they had already been working for months on this dark matter project, doesn't make it any less wrong. A couple quick shots here. Gulf streams are already changing so much that where the cold fresh water mixes from the Arctic is changing. It's one of the reasons New England has seen higher temperatures, they say. Interesting pick related to the rise and fall of our species each disaster cycle. Turns out that 12,000 years ago, the amount of unused land on Earth was about the same as it is today. Of course, then we had a little bit of a setback, and here we are again. Folks, if you read anything science-related, you surely saw that almost every outlet hopped on the Proxima Flare story from yesterday's morning news. It was a massive story that you had heard hours earlier, indicative that Proxima had been activated. And the other Nova story yesterday about the dust and cosmic rays in our fight with Harvard did get a deeper look episode at suspiciousobservers.org yesterday, breaking it down a bit more. A quick note about April 19th as the geomagnetic storm was over and waning away, the auroras exploded over Japan. This is not expected in Japan even during peak storm outbreak of this size, and if you are wondering if it's indicative of the weakening magnetic field amidst the current excursion catastrophe, I am wondering the exact same thing. I hope no observer wonders if the sun triggers the largest earthquakes after last night's video. It is now confirmed yet again that the solar trigger we discovered with NASA's Dr. Uyen is still working and likely triggered the eight-pointer in New Zealand in March. Lot to take in, I know. Videos to catch up on from yesterday as well, and of course, the sun is blasting. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.